Hello, Active Sage here on the Sage channel, and today I have decided to crash, or at least destroy, or greatly damage, the Goliath mining ship. And to do so, instead of just piloting into an asteroid, which, considering the large size of the ship and how slowly it moves, might take a long time and only do minor damage, I've decided to do two things. First off, I'm going to actually use the guillotine up there, and I'm going to crash it into it. And second off, I'm going to probably bombard it with the new warhead block. But first off, let's just start with the guillotine. Fly up there, grab it, and crash it into the bloody thing. And flying up to it, you might notice, if you've seen it before, I've actually changed its color scheme from just gray to actually a basic black, but I've put a nice little bit of yellow around the edges that will be impacting first. I'm also actually going to really quickly make a copy of it just in case maybe one isn't quite enough to do as much damage as we'd really like. Now let me fly in here, get in it, and start cutting. Alrighty, so there we go. This is a much older ship. Uh, you can see I only back then had four gyroscopes in it, so it takes a while to turn it or anything, but it does still have pretty damn good acceleration. You can see now we're up to a pretty good speed. We'll actually manage to make it to the max speed before we have an impact on. Let's see how well this thing cuts through, or at least into this large ship. Ooh, nice impact there. But we lost a lot of speed. Actually, no, we didn't, but... Oh, yeah, we did, and now we've been deflected off to the side. Actually, we're starting to miss the ship. I'm trying to correct this, but of course, older ship, only four gyroscopes. Not going to be able to turn it that much, but we can continue with the thrust on. And it actually looks like it's starting to stall up here. It's still doing some damage. I'll just carry on until it stops. And you see there, we've, uh... The tip of the guillotine actually looks like it hit, but then bounced off to the side. Managed to do a nice big tear there through the whole thing. Ooh, I like that. But of course, I can't really correct... Ooh, wow, geez, sorry about that. I can't really seem to correct the guillotine to actually try to cut directly through the middle. So after a bit here, it's probably... Oh, actually, it's still making progress, but it's slowly, as you can see... The, because of the angle, it's now hitting at different points. This will actually continue to do a fair bit of damage to the ship, though, so you'll be able to... Oh, wow, look at that! It, the way it's just pressed into it, the guillotine is actually starting to tilt into the ship, and actually the whole ship is now tilting with the guillotine. Oh, uh, that is something else. I think... Oh, yeah, there you go. You can see some more things buckling in there, and every time the guillotine takes some damage, you have to remember it's also doing damage to the ship below it. And if you're looking closely at the main ship below it now, you can see that on the right we've torn all the way through it, which was the thinner part. But you can also see a lot of severed conveyors or pipes and stuff. And this we actually hit in the sort of docking area for smaller mining ships. And we can see that we've torn up basically the whole area there. And a lot of systems are probably severed. I think maybe even the front part of the ship and the back part of the ship might even have trouble even sending supplies back and forth. Actually, no, it looks like there's still a fair few conveyors that are still connected there because there are so many backup ones down below, but the ones running along the top have definitely, definitely been severed. Let's see, what else do we have here? We're only continuing at a very slow speed, but the whole ship, all the whole Goliath ship is now actually in a fairly different position than where it was before. And you can actually see here, oh, if the camera doesn't spaz out too badly, we've started to push our way through the other side of the ship. The guillotine's actually made some pretty good progress in cutting this ship in two, and it's actually managed to realign itself to basically be going straight down into the whole ship, which is actually surprising to me. If this carries on the way it is going, I think the basically the guillotine is... From the way we're looking right now, spinning clockwise, so it's going to continue to cut itself through the ship. And actually, if it continues spinning clockwise, like I hope I, like I'm hoping it is, after a while it might actually spin all the way through. And even though the left part of the guillotine is pretty much destroyed, the right part still has a lot there, and it should be able to continue on through and keep cutting. Let's actually get a side view, and you can see the guillotine. Oh, jeez, camera originally was long enough to go through the whole ship with ease, and there is still a lot of it there, so if it does manage to turn clockwise, which I'm actually now even pressing 
E to try to get it to, it might actually be able to hit the side of the Goliath and do some more damage with that. Oh, yep, there it goes. It's just made an impact there. It's starting to do some more damage. Ooh, cutting its way through. He's sitting here. You can see it's starting to spark up in a lot of stuff. Uh, issue we might have actually is if it I, I've forgotten actually how the guillotine's power supply was set up so there's a possibility it'll reach a certain point and actually cut the power on the guillotine and we won't be able to move and actually if you look we're actually in the red on power usage I didn't even check that earlier I don't know how long we've actually been like that but we are still making progress if you look we're tearing through it all I'm actually tempted to um turn off the inertial dampers and get out and take a look, but of course the thrusters would stop at that point and it wouldn't continue pushing its way through, but from the top here you can see actually the guillotine's pretty much sunken most of the way actually into the larger ship. Ooh, the camera keeps spazzing out, sorry about that. Not exactly sure why. I don't think we're actually... Yeah, when we're hitting stuff we're right there, it shouldn't be that close. Wow, and you see actually there's been some... If I can get the camera to zoom out now. If you look at the bottom left part of the screen there on the ship, you can see it's sort of smashed and sort of skid basically from the bottom left up to where it is now and done a lot of damage, whereas on the right it's smashed and cut all the way in, almost to the very bottom of the Goliath, and oh, okay, well that was the control seat that just went. That's the uh, control seat that's just gone. So clearly the uh, guillotine is pretty much dead in the water now, that means... It's probably lost most of its power if I have any idea on how it would have been set up. Let me try to fly out of here and take a good look at damage and there's something interesting that we wouldn't have had happen before when I've crashed stuff previously is little bits of supplies floating about and I think those are actually like uh, ingots. Let's actually fly up to those really quickly before I get a good look at the whole ship. You can see stuff is still moving. Strangely. Actually this is the um, Goliath rotating sort of clockwise on its own. And you can see it's actually probably going to end up hitting... Ooh, actually out there you can see it there because the system's at... is struggling to keep up with it all. I think this is actually... Yeah, it's actually clipping through parts of the other ship without actually counting it as collision. So if we get a crash here any second, don't be surprised at that. But yeah, you can see there was those little metal bits down there. I actually got distracted there and didn't actually check on them. I'm not even going to bother now. Let's just fly out and look at the damage. <laughs> you see a lot of these conveyors have been severed here now. Wow. Having trouble even comprehending where I am. I mean, I know which room, but what pipes are left. And Woo! Okay, so... Wow, okay, so it looks like most of the pipes have actually, or I keep calling them pipes, conveyors have been severed, except for maybe the one right there, you can barely see, it's sort of obscured now, but that one right there, that runs along, it looks like it's still there, and maybe, no, that one even got cut up there. So those have been pretty much completely cut up. The guillotine itself, as you can see now, because remember the game is in very early alpha, is having a whale of a time as it's no longer counting collision and sort of just drifting freely through the rest of the ship as happens when it's having to do a whole lot of calculations. We we're actually pretty lucky that it managed to smash through all that before it started having issues with its calculations. I've actually tried crashing some of my other ships before into each other, duplicates of them, they've actually gone straight through each other without any damage. It's an interesting thing and it'll probably be fixed in the future with more optimization and all that, but it's still very interesting to see. And you see now, the Goliath mining ship, it probably could actually be repaired at this point. Because the ship's still in one piece, so you don't have to worry about the fact that you can't rejoin or can't connect two large ships. And all you'd really have to do to get the systems up and running are connect any of those pipes that are now longer connected to other things, and all the systems would still technically probably work. Is even though that is a pro uh, yeah that is the main reactor and probably fuel storage area currently in the game when your reactors are destroyed they don't go kaboom or anything so those are still in one piece and most of the other systems here look relatively fine as long as the ship doesn't try to do anything really silly you could probably just connect the tubes reconnect up any 
stuff down there, and this ship could easily fly its way back to anywhere else for repairs, or even using the large catcher's mitt here, continue mining, even though I'd suggest against that if it was this heavily damaged. And obviously, if somebody did this much damage to you, they're probably not going to just stop there. They're probably going to keep coming after you. Anyway, really quickly, I'm going to restart this level, except for instead of crashing another guillotine, this time I'm actually just going to start throwing some bombs at this thing and see what we can do with that. Alrighty, as I said I was going to, I've reloaded this level up before I crashed the guillotine into it. And now, I'm just really quickly going to get myself a little bomb I can throw about with a large ship. Stick one of these on the side. Should I have a few of them? No, I'll just go with one. And then I'm just going to do Control c on that. And then I can just basically do that whenever I want and then just keep pasting down. I don't even know where that one went. But anyway, now we can get into basically range of this. And actually, we're moving. We can release it. And... Kabaga! And... Kabaga! And we're hitting some lag here, obviously. Our frame rate is suffering. Even with the 64-bit, my CPU or my GPU is still suffering. And I've actually talked on this before. I believe it's because it's rendering all the blocks in front of me. Even the ones I can't actually see in front of me, such as there are blocks behind of these I'm mousing over. I believe it's rendering the ones behind it as well, which is causing some trouble. We're probably in the future they'll optimize it so it'll only be rendering the ones where you can actually they're in direct line of sight. Anyway, here we go. Ideally, actually, once we start destroying this, our frame rate will probably improve. Oh, that one didn't go where I thought it was going to. There we go. There we go. And see, if you were able to build some sort of ship that could accurately continue launching these little monstrosities, you could devastate pretty much anything you like. Because even though the guillotine cut right through it, these little bombs are just tearing, 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 tearing through this thing. That is, if I don't miss. Ah, oh, twice there. There we go, that's a good hit. That was a good hit. That was another good hit. Shall we just cut a hole through it? What we can do, actually, if we do that is switch to the gun, and when we do control V, control V, control V, every time I do control V then and aim to my right, it posts a new bomb, and even without me actually left clicking to post the bomb, when I'm holding control I fire, and I hit the bomb and it of course explodes. So I can just sort of cut my way through anything like that. There we go, now we've cut a hole through the whole thing. I'm going to switch back to something else that we don't keep ending up shooting bombs. You see we've easily just torn right through. I'm going to keep this up. This is quite fun. This is funner than the game. This is, this is brilliant. I am so glad they added these. Even if the other guns don't currently work. It's just a lot of fun to be able to smash stuff like this, ain't it? And you just devastate things. Uh, I hope in the future maybe reactors do explode or if you have to have fuel, which of course, you know, they, they're setting everything up in a way that... Ooh, that bomb exploded and actually took out the new one that I hadn't even posted yet. Of course, they are setting up everything I've seen so far indicates that you will need fuel. They have the sort of fuel timers and all that, and there is some basic systems for fuel in there right now. But I'm hoping in the future maybe fuel systems will actually explode. So you'll be like, oh yeah, look at that, and then all those things, let's assume they're full of fuel. If maybe something like that happened, they would all explode and cause a chain reaction to take them out. Maybe reactors would even go off. Oh, they could do some really insane stuff. I don't know how, what they'll do, but they're, the possibilities for this game just continue, continue to grow. You'd think after a while, you'd think, okay, I can kind of see where the game is going. I can get a basic idea of what's happening here. I can sort of understand where this game is going to... Oh, that one went fly elsewhere. Oh, no, it still hit. You kind of get a basic idea of where this game will probably end up and where it'll stop, but nope, they just keep doing things which seems to make it more and more interesting. And they have these bombs, and all of a sudden, the deformation that I originally thought was pretty awesome suddenly becomes even funner where you can just fly around and bomb the crap out of stuff without having to worry about spotting in a small, like, self made ship for collision every time. Oh, I seem to be missing. Oh, nope, there we go. Oh, oh, don't miss hit the antenna. Hit the how oh, you bastard bomb. Bastard bomb. Anyway, you can see here I've I've done a heck of a bombing run on this ship. Um, probably far more of a devastating bombing run. I'm moving too fast to be throwing them in any other direction than where I'm actually going right now. There we go. Far more devastating bombing run than you'd ever really expect, since I don't believe it'll be 
that practical to have a ship that can fly about and so easily continue tossing these bombs wherever it likes. But dang, if you can build something like that, oh boy, oh boy, are you ever going to rule the world. Currently, most bombing platforms aren't able to maneuver where they're bombing while releasing. It's sort of you aim, you fire your torpedoes or whatever using the motion of your ship. But who knows, maybe we'll actually have proper rail accelerators hooked up to maybe special accelerator plates in the future so you can directly accelerate something on your ship really quickly. Maybe some sort of system using a gravity driven thing where you'll have maybe each of these bombs would have a small asteroid attached to them and you just turn on your gravity generators when you want to fire wherever you're aiming. Huge setups with maybe, you know, basically like those turret setups that the CEO of the company built and I built a few of my own versions. Maybe something like that, but on a larger scale, and you just aim that from a large ship, turn on the gravity generators on those, and whoop, you fired a bomb. Ooh, how interesting would that be? Anyway, you can see here, I've, I think I've done enough damage to this ship. Uh, I think the first actual thing with the guillotine did more damage to the actual main core systems in one quick blow. But I mean, if something was able to keep chasing you and keep hitting you like this, you can see it's... It's going to keep tearing you up. I was able to hit basically the control area in the front of the ship. If it came above the top here, I mean, if I'm taking out the catcher's mitt, that's like the one of the main purposes, purposes of the ship that's being devastated right there. And of course, something I actually haven't mentioned in videos is last time I tried the catcher's mitt, didn't quite work well. They've actually changed the way that the physics of small objects work and the fact that they seem to actually disappear quite quickly now which is a bit disconcerting for anything like the catch mitt but who knows maybe it's just a temporary thing maybe it's an issue on my end anyway you can see this ship devastated completely devastated now the catch mitt unusable because it's got big gaps where the materials would just fall elsewhere they got pipes that have been severed all sorts of stuff if 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 somebody came attacking with this much firepower, you better hope to God that this big mining ship has some serious backup, or else it is completely and utterly scrapped. Then again, you'd have to be pretty insane to be trying to destroy a big mining ship like this, because if you're devastating it, well, you'd think maybe you'd rather just take it over. It's not that well defended. Its crew probably wouldn't be that well defended. You could just, you know, take it over. Anyway, thanks a bunch for watching, guys. I think I probably had way too much fun ranting here and just blowing this thing up. I highly suggest you guys have fun with this sort of just spawn and bomb stuff mechanic. Download one of my ships if you like. I got a fair few on the Steam Workshop, or build your own, which if you have this game, you've probably already been building your own, and you probably have a lot of fun blowing your own stuff up. Anyway, th thanks again for watching, guys. This game is fun, and I'll, uh... I love that. I'll see you guys next time. Found a new way to bomb stuff. Oh no, are my bombs running into each other now? Oh boy, what have I done? Oh, right, by the way, if uh, I'm sounding a bit different or whatnot, I just thought I'd throw this in the outro slate here. I uh, have been a bit under the weather. That's actually also why a lot of my videos have not been coming out recently, because being under the weather, I haven't actually felt much like recording or even building or even getting out of bed with my head being all funky and all that anyway i hope you guys don't mind too much the delays and videos and whatnot i sh i'm feeling a lot better now should be getting a fair few more videos out soon now and um again i just want to say thanks for waiting sorry about the delay i'll see you guys next time